Welcome to the U.S. Kiss Vinyl Reference YouTube channel. Please like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Howdy, folks. Welcome to another episode of the U.S. Kiss Vinyl Reference. I am your host, Mike Stone, as always. And uh, took the week off last week. Had a little anniversary celebration with the missus. A good time was had. And uh, that's that. Um, sorry if I seem a little cynical about that. It's not really my intent to be cynical. I'm just like really tired right now. So anyway. Uh, we've done a couple of... Uh, side quests the last several weeks and today we are going to talk about pretty much the rest of the catalog let's see the last uh like actual album i think i did was the the late 90s so we ended with psycho circus so we're going to pick up where that left off and uh, we're pretty much going to run through the rest of the catalog except for the sound boards I'll, I'll do all that separate so basically we're going from uh, Symphony to Kiss World today if I make it so yeah I'm kind of tired so I wake up at two o'clock in the morning to go to work it's uh it's 10 o'clock at night uh yeah yeah but let's do this so um yeah get yourself all tucked in and whatnot and uh i'll see you in a minute Alright folks, welcome back. So, as I said, we're going to tackle mostly the rest of the catalog today. Ain't much, really. I've, I've been putting this off and putting this off, but, you know, eventually it's going to have to get done. So, guess what? Yeah, we're, we're at that bridge. We're going to go ahead and cross it. So, um... <clears throat> So yeah, uh, we're going to go from Symphony to Kiss World, uh, pretty much the rest of the catalog. Like I said, I'll do the sound boards at another time. Um, can't think of anything new and exciting in the world of collecting Kiss vinyl. Uh, some people are getting their reissues of Dynasty in. Um, some people are, have found something to bitch about on, on some of them. Eh, you know what? It is what it is. But, uh, anyway. Yeah. I have nothing new that came in yet. So, oh, I ain't even got nothing on the way right now. So, anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. And looks like my placement was just right there on my two project guitars. So we're going to start off, like I said, the last last time I did some records, we ended on Psycho Circus. So this time we're going to start off with the Symphony album. And... So there was two releases for the Symphony album. You had the original release in 2003. Yes, dates don't stick with me very well. So, the one, uh, one clue, because there are counterfeits of Symphony out now. So one clue to check to see if yours is counterfeit or not, other than the fact that it's colored vinyl. So some people buy it and keep it sealed. Number one, the counterfeit says 
your presence is requested or, or something along those lines down here. The neither official version will have that text down here. All right. The original issue of the Symphony album. So the barcode is down here on the right-hand side, and it is numbered like so. It opens up into three panels. Also like so, with a big gatefold. Um, I am going to give a word of caution to make sure your inner sleeves are in the pocket and not sticking out where you see the white here. Because when you go to fold that, you will fold them inner sleeves every time. So, with the vinyl, you have a custom label with basically Beethoven and Kiss makeup. And I want you to pay special note to that white ring around the vinyl, the, the label I'm in. I'm sorry. So, you know, usually when I tell you something, that means there's something different coming up. So, but yeah, it's a three LP set, uh, custom inner sleeves, which I really don't want to drag out. So while I'm putting it up, I might just run them across the bottom down here using the old uh, video editor tools that I have at my disposal because like I said getting them back in there you want to make sure that they're just perfect before you fold the jacket back up otherwise you got folded inner sleeves And this is supposedly limited to 10,000, yet these things are fairly pricey if you want to find a new and sealed one. You would think 10,000 is a pretty big run for vinyl, especially back in 2003, but it is what it is. So. The next variation for the Symphony record is the 2014 Hysteria exclusive. Now, I showed you on the original issue, the barcode was on the right hand side and there was a number. On the Hysteria issue, it's on the left hand side and it's not numbered. It opens up the same into three panels same inner sleeves and the whole nine and the vinyl also has that custom label and notice that it does not have a white ring around the label it instead has a black ring so that's one way to tell and uh, even this one is among the pricier of the Kisteria exclusives if you was to try to buy them separate. But that is the Symphony album. Alright, next up is also uh, an album that it's not exclusive to the Kisteria set because you can buy it in stores, but it came out with the Kisteria set and that is Alive the Millennium Concert. So we go from a record that had a big three panel gatefold, custom inner sleeves, 
to a non-gate fold and plain white in her sleeves. So this is uh, this is from the uh, I, my places and dates get screwed up. I, know, I knew it was New Year's Eve of 99, 2000, but it was in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. It was where the show took place. And this is the first time that the entire show has been released. So we had the show on CD. There was a song or two missing, especially if you got the Best Buy version because there was a couple of songs that were missing that were advertised on the package, which Best Buy made right if you took the effort and time to, to go up and get the replacement CD. So we got the label. And now I'm going to point your attention to the bottom there where it says 2020, learn how to talk, Mike. 2014 Kiss Catalog Limited under exclusive license to the Island Def Jam Music Group. Again, I'm pointing something out here, so. And it's a it's a two LP set, but it's in a non gatefold jacket, plain inner sleeves. It's kind of a boring package, but I would imagine if it were released back in ninety nine or two thousand, or well, it couldn't have been released in ninety nine, but if it were released in two thousand two thousand one, it'd probably be similar packaging. All right, and then we have a variation on the Millennium Concert. This uh, this showed up a few years after the fact. It's still the same packaging, inner sleeves and, and all, but when you look at the label, Now it just says 2014 The Island Def Jam Music Group. So the text at the bottom has been shortened a little bit. And I'll throw both of them up there side by side so you can see while I'm putting it back up real quick. Next up is Sonic Boom. Now this one was exclusively sold on KISS Online. The LP was. The CD was available only at Walmart. I have seen people tell stories over time that they got their vinyl copy at Walmart. No, they didn't. Uh, not, not an official copy anyway because it sold out on KISS Online fairly quick. So there was five colors released. Black, blue, green, purple, red. And from, from what I can remember, it's a, it was a thousand for each color. And then I've got one I'm gonna set aside here and then I'll pick the other ones up. So, first things first, it was a gatefold jacket, and there are counterfeits galore. Um, there are some differences on the counterfeits, most notably the KISS logo on the spine. Uh, but there are a couple of 
there's one counterfeit at least that has the KISS logo on the spine. I'm not going to go into detail where it's at, and, and I'm not going to give all of the the details away of, you know, what they got wrong with the counterfeits because I don't want them to fix it. And then there are some counterfeits that are, that's a non-gatefold jacket. That's easy to spot, and the hype sticker is way oversized. So... All right, first things first, we have a poster. I'll have to back up a little bit. So it is a fold out of the Sonic Boom lineup. Almost every copy I've seen has had some kind of corner bump from shipping. Uh, I, it, it just happens. Uh, custom inner sleeve. So this is another hallmark of counterfeits. Uh, this is usually just a two-sided insert in a counterfeit. So that's a... Uh, easy thing to spot and then for the labels we have custom labels so there's that's actually side two and then there's side one so the all the track listing is on the side two label and of course, black vinyl. And so I said that there was a thousand of them for each color. And then with the black vinyl, they set aside 400 copies. And they had the band autograph the jacket and then they sealed it up and offered that for sale at a later time on KISS Online which we have right here and this is the only sealed record in my collection so there you got Gene, you got Paul, you got Eric and you got Tommy um, I leave this sealed because it's a black vinyl copy. I just showed you my open black vinyl copy, so there's no need for me to have this one open too. So, um, I kind of feel that one is, as it should be, quite collectible because... I mean, there's only 400 of them, so that's like the the lowest numbered variation of the set. And uh, it was offered through Kiss Online, so authenticity is pretty high, I think. But yep. Yeah, so there's uh, there is the autographed copy. Then we'll start getting into the colors. So I showed you the black vinyl. And now, here is the blue vinyl. Kind of see through, kind of not. And 
without digging them all out, they each come with a hype sticker similar to that. I don't know how well you'll see that. But the hype sticker will be in the color of the vinyl. green again kind of see-through kind of not and just looking at my computer screen that green is not the same green that I'm seeing with my own two eyes so it looks uh, it looks pretty weak on my on my screen but it is it's green I might have uh, might throw my scan of it up there just to show you how green it is and uh, one thing I'll note about my scans is I use no kind of correction whatsoever I don't uh, I don't fix blemishes I don't correct the colors I don't do any of that so that's a uh, straight off of my scan bed. Alright. Next up is purple. And what I will say about the purple is this is the only one that's kind of got a marble to it. It's still kind of clear and kind of not, but yeah, there's you can see some red and blue streaks in here, a little bit of white. The other, the others are a solid color, but yeah, for some reason the purple turned out marble a little bit. Possibly they're just purple pellets didn't exist or whatever. They had to take red and blue. I don't know the process, so. Please forgive me if I if I sound a little ignorant about that because I, I really don't know. And the last copy if you could take a wild guess what color it is, you're probably be right it's red I don't even have to pull that thing out so yeah and it's also see-through as you can see the disc keeper logo right there that's actually on the front side so so that is Sonic Boom and when this was put on sale, I think you could get the whole set for $125, which did not include the autograph copy that came later. But uh, you're not going to touch one of them for $125 now. So, all right, moving on. Monster. So. of uh, key things to note here on Monster. There is a first issue and then there is a reissue. So the first issue, as we all know, that O in Monster, you notice there's a cross through the O. Apparently the folks that uh, run the energy drink got a hold of them and said, hey, your logo's getting a little close there. Might want to change that. Packaging is boring. Just a plain jacket. 
white inner sleeve. And then we got a custom label with the KISS logo and the Monster logo in white. Again, you can see that cross through the O that the uh, energy drink company got a little uh, ruffled about. So, the barcode on the back of the first issue, it won't focus in, I'll have to throw in a scan, but it says up above the barcode, B00174181-01, which is the catalog number. There is no catalog number on the spine so that's that's the first issue now the reissue after monster told them the energy drink told them hey you might want to back off a little bit on that logo they changed the o to where it's just an o and then the barcode has nothing above it in the white box it does have the catalog number on the spine, unlike the first issue. And then on the, the label of the vinyl, they also changed the monster logo. Both of these are easy to find. There's really no rarity to me about either one of them. Okay. Next up, we got, oh, before I go to the next one, this, uh, reissue here with the uh, altered logo this was found also in kissed area uh, you could buy it in the store or you can get it in kissed area there was not a special version of monster made for kissed area it was the regular retail version all right next So we have a different catalog number now. It is now B0017542-01. No catalog number on the spine. Other than that, it's the same kind of jacket, same inner sleeve. But now we got a picture disc. There's the album cover on front. A big live shot on the back. Again, this one's not super hard to track down. And I'm having a little trouble with the disc keeper today. Either that or I'm having trouble with my left hand.
And then, speaking of picture discs, there is a variation of the picture disc. I mean, it's this is the same exact picture disc as what I just showed you. But this was put into a plastic sleeve with a hype sticker and sold as a indie expo uh well a fan expo version uh at the indianapolis expo and is either 2012 or 2013 one of those two supposedly limited to 500 now i uh I have my suspicions about that 500 number because I, I did not attend that expo, but I have spoken to people that did. This thing sold out at that expo. It sold out. And uh, you can find it on some un online sites still to this day just like this what you can also find on some of those online sites sometimes even the same site is an empty picture disc jacket so I kind of think that maybe uh, some overstock of picture discs are getting separated from their jackets and being put into a PVC sleeve and having that expo sticker stuck on them. I truly believe that there's more than 500 of these pressed. It is what it is. I mean, I can't prove that it is. And the people that, uh, that came up with that indie expo version can't prove that it's not so there it is i said my piece about it i'm not accusing any certain people of anything i'm just saying i think that's what's going on all right next up is kiss rocks vegas this was released in 2016 it is a double LP but it folds into three panels depending on which version you got you either had a DVD or a blu-ray in there I, I opted for the LP and DVD and I think I got the CD with the blu-ray one one of the two I, I, I got combinations of all of them. Uh, again, with the custom inner sleeves. Want to make sure that you got them in there just right so you don't fold them up. And we have custom labels. And it's a member of each band member so I'll just throw all four of them up on the screen right here while I'm putting this back up and then I'll go ahead and throw the inner sleeves up there while I'm at it but yeah it's a uh, recording of one of, the, of their shows at their Vegas residency and uh, I'm not going to lie I, I kind of enjoy it uh, I, I enjoy listening to it I enjoy watching the DVD so yeah so Going back to Rocks Vegas, this isn't a U.S. copy. This is a European copy from a few years later. It got reissued on color vinyl, so it's kind of a odd yellow color. 
got the same inner sleeves and all that. Um, this one, this one also has a DVD in it, and it's a uh, since it's European, it's a different region code, so it won't play in U.S. players. And this could be found with the regular KISS logo and the altered KISS logo. Alright, now we're at KISS World. So this was kind of a, uh, kind of a greatest hits thing that they wanted to have in print during their, uh, when they first started the end of the road tour. So it was just a, just a product to have on the shelves to promote the tour, basically. So there was a few different variations of it. Colors, black, and all that. So sold through Kiss Online, we had a yellow and red splatter yeah you can see I kind of got shorted on the red a little bit but yeah. Yeah. LP2 is the same way so that custom label I forgot to show uh, plain white inner sleeves. There was no hype sticker with this release. So what we did get was on the shrink wrap there was that limited edition barcode sticker there that covered the barcode on the jacket. So there was this colored version and then there was a black version that were sold and they're both the exact same jacket so that's why that limited edition sticker is on the colored vinyl. So then we get to the black vinyl. So there's the barcode without the sticker there. Got the same custom label, and like I said, it's just on black vinyl now. So these are the two that I ordered from Kiss Online when they went on sale. I'm gonna have to replace that sleeve. So then, later on, I was walking through Walmart, and I saw a copy on the shelf, and there was a little sticker on it that says, Made in Canada. I picked it up just because it had that sticker on it, so, yeah. I know I'm splitting hairs there, but... Yeah, it's the same custom label as I just showed. It's on black vinyl. But yeah, it just it had a sticker that said Made in Canada on it. And then I have seen others that had a sticker that said Made in Czech Republic. I didn't go that far and get one. So maybe one day if I come across a copy for the right price. I might get it, but it's uh, it's not high on my list of stuff to get. All right, and speaking of Walmart, so there was a Walmart exclusive release on colored vinyl, and. I think, personally, that this color pattern is far superior to the yellow and red 
splatter that we got originally. I just, I think this is one of the better looking colored vinyl that KISS reissued. It's got the same custom label, the, uh, the legal info at the bottom. That's all changed. And then it came with the, uh, the store price sticker there. Well, it's not a price sticker. It's just a hype sticker. Um, the legal info on the jacket changed. You know, new catalog number and, and what have you. another copy not sure oh again with the uh, the Made in Canada sticker there and then you got that yellow and red pattern I think it was a case of, I think I pre-ordered on walmart.com and then later on I couldn't remember if I pre-ordered or not and it was the day that it hit the shelves and I think I went to the store and grabbed one and then like it came in the mail the next day or something like that. But yeah, one of them had a Made in Canada sticker and the other one didn't, so I kept them both. And then, I said it was going to Kiss World, but I forgot one. We got another Walmart exclusive compilation. So, Icon is a... Uh, it, it's a series that Walmart used to run with several bands. It was just a cheap you know, compilation to to put out. And uh, I believe there was two different CDs for KISS on the Icon series. But they reissued it on, uh, on vinyl. And uh, there's a couple other bands that I've seen to have a vinyl version of their Icon series released. This is on a uh, black and silver vinyl. Well, silver-ish. And then it's got that custom label there. And, yeah, like I said, it's just a, a cheap LP to get out there to, to make some money. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what any release is, is a way to make money you know some people call them cash grabs trying to make it sound derogatory but you know that's kind of what the point of recording releasing and all that is is to make money I mean you know people in bands have bills and families to feed and all that just like everybody else does that's just the way they happen to make money so all right that was kind of short and sweet to go through all that and uh me being tired may have had something to do with that a little bit but excuse me <laughs> so i will get this thing edited and hopefully have it post on time and uh, again, with my Facebook post, um, if you've got any ideas for episodes, drop them in the comments. Uh, I've reached out to a couple of people that have uh, 
rather large and or focused collections and uh, you know I've got a couple of things in the work that works there like I did with uh, my buddy Brett Siples a few weeks back and uh, yeah I'm, I'm open to questions episode ideas because all I got left are the soundboards man that's it so anyway I'm gonna go to bed because that's what tired people do right so uh, I thank you for hanging in there with me even though it was short and probably boring and uh, I will catch you the next time around